What is going on ladies and gents, this is Airfire21 bringing you a little bit of Tribes gameplay. Uh, I've, I've been playing Tribes over the last couple of days and I think I've said this before, I'm literally just going to be posting whatever I want, whatever I'm either playing or whatever I want to post. And at the moment I'm not enjoying League of Legends and so I'm not posting League of Legends which is why I haven't been posting the last couple of weeks because I've not really been sure what game to play I've not really been playing too much games uh, so I'm just showing you some off spawn flag routes I do fail quite a lot because of my dyspraxia if you don't know what that is look it up Total Biscuit also has it uh, which is kind of interesting seeing as he plays and reviews games for almost a living. I hit the edge of the uh, of the, I don't know what to call it, of, it's like a mini fort isn't it? I hit the edge of the mini fort or the f flag base okay we'll just call it the enemy's base but then I take a left and go around the edge of the map under the bridge and just start skiing away because this is quite a good route for everyone it it does work in it does work the other way around I have I think I do show you it uh, later in the gameplay I've, I've literally just gone into a private match and said you know what I really really want to just do like a spawn off spawn route flag route and you know this is if you're against a really bad team I do fail at self propulsion that's something that I am trying to teach myself but again it's difficult because of my dyspraxia so uh, I, I go into a pole there but if you don't go into the pole and you get a, quite a lot of speed up then uh, oh sorry I just scratched my mic I didn't mean to do that then this is a very good route because not many people run it most people just go dead through the center which I do show you in a couple of minutes but it's not that important you know it it, it not that important it's not that good going through the mid isn't that good because you can't actually I do fail the jump here or do I no, I just fell the flag cap. If I'd grabbed the flag, and you know, I'm just gonna fail for a little bit because I'm gonna go up here and try and cap it. But obviously, it's not in a straight line, so I fail again. <laughs> and so I decide, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go the the other the first route. But if you do that and then run the last part of this of the route again it's actually a very effective route because you're literally doing a circle around the map and not many people expect it most people expect you to either go a different route so like a triangle maybe um, or something like that and I fail again I, d I don't I don't get what it is with just touching that flag so I, I still pick up the flag I'm still going about 70 kilometers an hour whilst I'm grabbing the flag which is pretty good and then this just keep this in your brain this is a seriously good exit route because it involves the least turrets people are least likely to be coming round from your base to knock into you if you know you've got really bad teammates and they decide actually I'm just gonna knock into the flag carrier and make him lose all of his speed I think I am going round and I do fail and hit a pole one of the rocky poles uh, in a second because I think I have enough I thought I had enough energy to get over it but I wasn't paying attention and I'd lost all my speed and speed is one of the most important things in tribes if you don't have speed you're just gonna lose the game um, I, f I don't fail there I think that's a hitbox fail on uh, on tribes' fault because I shouldn't have got that cap again going round 
capping the flag this way, trying to self propel, pro blah, 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 trying to get myself a bit of self propulsion and failing yet again. But you know, I've I've literally just started playing this game. I've just started getting okay-ish, and I was going to get you some good gameplay like from actual multiplayer but today I just seem to have terrible teammates so maybe next weekend when people are a little, a little bit more experienced with the game I can uh, I can get you some multiplayer gameplay because I'm not that good I I'll admit it I'm not that good I think I'm yeah I failed there I'm just I'm just a massive failure because of my dyspraxia just like I need to get that down and the training mode in this is the best thing for it like I go in for about an hour a day and just practice trying to go for the flag and it does annoy me and it is really frustrating but you just gotta keep on going on do I go a different route here oh no I run out of energy and <laughs> and hit the uh, middle of the base so, I'm, so I try again you know oh no I don't I switch to Pathfinder and then switch teams just simply because uh, that's how I roll and I like to rolly 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 poly so I, I switch teams and this is how you want to run mid you got to be either using one of the light classes. I I personally like Pathfinder the best. <coughs> I apologise. That's really unprofessional of me. I should have muted my mic, but I just didn't get there in time. Um, I hit the pole. Now, if you hit the pole, just keep on going. Don't try and get the flag because you've lost all your momentum. And as a light class, that's one of the most important things because you haven't got that much momentum and because you haven't got that much uh, no because you haven't got that much health and you haven't got that much wh what, what's it called you haven't got that much armor you take damage extremely easily and so one of the most important things of playing a light class is having the speed so this is how you want to run mid I go I go through the back, you know, I wouldn't have, and then I would have gone the other way, how you, how you do once you've got the first flag cap as, uh, as black team, I can't remember their names, I know that this is Blood Eagles, but I can't remember what the other one is, and so it's pretty much the same route, except instead of going right at the large black rocks you go over them and then go round and then as if you're capping on the black or trying t to get the flag on black team you literally just go up this hill and then ski down and cap just as if you're playing uh, the other team and so I'm just gonna you know go yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, what route am I going to take now? I think I may take mid again. Or I might. No, I'm going the other way. No, I'm going mid again. Why am I going mid again? I guess because I failed the first time slightly, I decided to. Uh, you, you, you see on the sides of the screens the pedometers pedometers that's not uh, what I mean the speedometers I've hit the top of them multiple times and then I was like oh yeah I'm such a beast then I went and watched Felician's video and said I'm not a beast what am I doing this is the, just just no you need to be hitting the red a lot more often and you should you should honestly be hitting the red maybe I don't know three f five times a game I might be wrong there you might be you you might be hitting it a lot more and especially 
confident tribes players will be hitting it a lot more and you see this route again I'm taking this route but this time I'm taking it forward okay I'm taking it the other way because it's a good route and it's a good ski route because it enables you to have a good amount of speed and also it gives you a clear point of where to start and where to stop so the gameplay is coming to an end here I know that there's no bots or teams or anything but I just I, I get one last cap taking that route again there's three routes you can if, if you're on blood eagle let's say you can go right to where the uh, to where I call them the tunnels because they reach over each other and create almost a, a tunnel like thing or or mid which is just literally ski ski jump ski jump and then or you can go left which is the way that I'm going right now and go through straight through the middle of one turret jump get the flag mi miss another turret and then go back round through the caves unfortunately I die because I get hit by the uh, I get hit by the turret but that's where I'm going to end the gameplay I hope you learnt something from this video uh, I'm going to leave a link to another video in the description which is Volition's video uh, which is called How to Ski Like a Boss and that's in an actual multiplayer and he's using the jumper class and it's quite a good video and I learned most of the routes from that video so I hope you have a good day guys and this is Zev521 signing out have a good day guys catch you later